Welcome back to another video by Frankie G is me. Today I'm actually going to be doing some camouflage to my car, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different than I did about a year ago. I'm actually doing different sheens of black and gray, and I think that it looks pretty cool with the white that I already have. First thing I gotta do though is wash my car, so let's get started. <laughs> Back in my house now, I was going to clean my garage up because it's pretty messy, except for the fact that I it's already pretty late. This is the uh, two boxes that you guys saw the other day. Just a ton of vinyl that I got at Amazon, or on Amazon. I have a glossy black, a metallic matte black, a, I think this is a brushed silver, and this is just silver. I believe each one of those is three feet by five feet. I don't quite remember because I got them a couple weeks ago as you guys seen in previous video. What you need to do and what I should have done to begin with is flatten them out, hold them down with maybe like some canned food or something like that so they're completely flat. That way they don't try and roll up on you when you're actually trying to cut them and things like that. pretty flat now I don't really have to hold it down with the cans anymore to make it flat so what I'm gonna start doing now is I'm gonna grab some regular scissors and just cut start cutting out random shapes <laughs> So it took me probably about 30 to 45 minutes to cut out all those shapes out of all four of those sheets. I'm not going to do the roof at all because I plan to uh, make my roof black in the near future. So you guys can also stay tuned for that. So for now, what we need to do is we need to talk about what you're going to actually need. Of course, you're going to need the vinyl. Like I said, I got four sheets of 3x5 vinyl. Um, type of vinyl that I personally got was Vivid Vinyl. I found it on Amazon. I'll throw a link down below if you guys are interested. I also am going to use a heat gun. I highly recommend that over a blow dryer. It's not the same, so definitely pick up one of those. Those aren't that expensive either. Um, and then the other thing that you're going to need is a squeegee. Uh, that way you can make sure that there's no bubbles when you're actually putting on the vinyl. So now that we got that part taken care of, let's go check it out and what we're actually going to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
gonna call defeat at this exact second because the gloss black completely sucks. I don't, I don't know if that's all the gloss colors, but every matte color that I have, it goes on super easy. I've never had this issue before, except for when I tried to do my mirrors. I don't know if you guys remember that. I'll show a clip right here. But that was also gloss black. So I think Vivid Vinyl Gloss Black is just, for lack of better words, really bad. So I'm going to call it a night right now because I'm frustrated, I'm hungry, and I just don't want to deal with this at this exact second. So this is day two of my vinyl camo style that I'm doing on my car. Um, I'm actually a lot more enthusiastic to do it today, and I think it came out pretty well. Um, so I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing here. I'm going to try and get over the fact that the gloss black pretty much is hard to install. Um, and I'm definitely going to keep the brushed metal look on there. My favorite one out of all of them on there is the silver. I'm going to keep on doing that right now so you guys could watch. <laughs> So I just finished camouflaging my Mark VI Jetta GLI, also known as my Panda. And now that it's camouflaged, we are going to call it my Incognito Panda, just because what the hell, right? Let's take a walk around and you guys will see what it looks like. Let me know what you think about my Incognito Panda by leaving a comment down below. You can also find me on my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Also, please show your support for this video and all the videos that I make by giving a big thumbs up down below. Uh, thank you for watching another video by Frankie G is me, and I'm out.